Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we follow Rochelle Richards, aka Katie Kidman, as she attempts to audit another school but only gets the walk of shame again. I tell you something, she's the only frauditor I've seen so far that's made it her personal quest to disrupt school operations. No other frauditor has even the willpower to do that. Or they just might have a code of honor that she doesn't have. At any rate, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So here's Pauline Patriot's school over here and the, uh, the kids are all back in school the landscapers are all out in full force and all the maintenance men I didn't really see them around much when the kids weren't here and now because I was over here when the kids weren't here so I think it's really weird that they're all and it's not because the kids are here because you got to mow the lawn and everything all year round, and basically you should be doing the maintenance when and the lawn and stuff when they're not here. And your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. The grass doesn't stop growing just because the children are there. The light bulbs don't magically change themselves when they need to be changed. I mean, come on, Katie. Schools employ more than teachers. They employ uh, all sorts of talent to maintain those schools to keep them open. IT professionals to keep the computers running, maintenance workers to keep the lawns clear, cafeteria staff to cook the meals. If you don't understand that simple concept, you would fail at running a business, let alone a school. Here's the office where the little mentidosos live. Save the day. August. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm good. Are you? Good. It's like it's closed. You must have locked the office. They're on the phone and they locked the office. So. Hi, sorry, my window's over here. Oh, oh, over here. <laughs> Thank <Yeah>. you. <laughs> I'm not cute anymore. <laughs> That's what, so cute. What can I help you with? Oh, uh, I was just wondering where your sign-in sheet is when you are signing. What do you, um, what did you need to sign in for? Oh, it's right there. Cause I'm i uh, I'm a reporter. Are you serious? So I'm already pretty much done, but I mean, if you want me to sign in, um, I can. Are you recording right now? Yeah, ma'am. I'm um, a reporter. That's what I do. Okay, well, are I'm you going to are ask you you to stop reporting? Are you talking to me from an office window right now? Doing your job? I am. That's what I'm doing, my job. Yeah. So I'm basically you to stop reporting. Basically you're asking me to stop doing my job. But I'm also going to ask you to leave our campus. Which I I could also ask you to stop doing your job. So can well, I get your card and I, your name? Um sure. Let me go grab my business. So I know card. who's giving me directives and asking me to leave. They have every right to ask you to leave. 
You don't have any children on that campus that need attention. You, they don't know who the hell you are. Hell, you've already been arrested because of these actions. And you have a court date coming up in October. I would love for them to put you in jail because of this. The children would be much better off if you weren't stalking them all the time. You're Michelle. Yep, is there something I can help you with? No, you came out to try to help me, right? Then you That's should know what you're trying to help me with. That's why I'm asking you, what can I help you with? Wow, you guys are manipulators, aren't you? No. Terrible, terrible. No. To be I'm around. asking you to stop reporting and leaving our campus, please. Uh, yes, ma'am. Will right. do. You guys are master manipulators around kids. Okay. That's terrible. Well, yeah, they're manipulators. They gotta learn how to manipulate the behavior of students so they'll be more productive in society later on. I mean, they can't just be total anarchists like Chile de Castro or fake Mike Real News. You really should take classes on classroom management. You would learn a lot about managing student behaviors such as operational defiance disorders and autism spectrum disorder. If you really want to help, you should be a paraprofessional in the EBD class. That would be a great help rather than you stalking them. Yeah. You should treat the general public better. You should treat me better. Mm -hmm. And now I know how you treat kids and that's why I'm doing this. And by the way, my sister-in-law is the superintendent of the school board. Right. So you should always know who you're talking to before you get smart. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. You got some rude people working at your school. Rude. Damn. Okay, I have I hope you treat treat the kids better. Okay. You know? You, you can't ask me to stop recording. You can ask me to leave, but you can't ask me to stop well, recording. And I won't. Okay. And if you're an American and you're working with our kids at the school, teach them the Bill of Rights and the First Amendment. Right. Freedom of press, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, while you wait for the police. Okay. Thank you. You're sick, Karen. I don't thank you. You need to move to North Korea. And stop working at the school. Our kids need to learn how to live in a free country, not in your country. And back in the day, they used to say that if you were black, you had to leave too. If my skin was black, I wasn't allowed. Katie, now you're just comparing apples to oranges. Segregation and filming at school are two entirely different subjects. One is a matter of civil rights, the other one is a matter of constitutional debate. That has nothing to do with one's race, age, sex, gender, or whatever. So stop with the false equivalency fallacy, you brain dead dits. All right. Yeah, and if I was black, you'd ask me to leave too, huh? How many black kids do you have at your school? How many? I didn't even see a one. You have any African Americans in there? No. Because you discriminate. I'm going to be watching our kids, every one of them at every age. I'm going to have my eyes on you. The most corrupted agency in the United States of America is the school board. The most corrupted. And there they are, calling the police. Earlier, you were trying to intimidate them by saying that the uh, superintendent was your sister, which the superintendent is not your sister. Now you're saying that the school board is the most corrupt organization in the United States. So which is it? Are they uh, good or are they corrupt? But in your own delusional mind, they're probably both. I hope when your trial date comes 
that they will lock you up for at least a few months, because we don't need you stalking the children. 